It's Eli's fifth birthday today and we are gonna have a blast. Something that I know can be really tough are social situations, holidays, and just family gatherings when it comes to food, and it can cause a lot of stress <laughs> for a lot of people. And so I'm gonna share with you in this video what I typically do uh, for myself and how I've over the years been able to master going into a social situation, a party, planning a party, all that kind of stuff without derailing and getting off my plan. So these are my best tips and what has worked for me, and hopefully they will be helpful to you. I think it's good to remember that eating whole food plant-based, eating vegan is so much more common than it used to be. So if, even if you're going somewhere and people aren't going to be eating how you eat, it doesn't matter. People will understand where you're coming from if you choose to share that with them. The most important thing that I can recommend is that you focus on changing your habits and you're only going to inspire the people around you. So a big key to staying on task when you're doing a birthday party or a holiday or a social event that's coming up for you is just making sure that you have a game plan in advance. And one way that I really love to make sure that I am kind of in control of the situation, I'm a little bit of a control freak, I'm going to be honest with you, is that I have the party at my house, which is exactly what I'm doing for Eli's birthday. I'm making everything myself, I know what's going in it, not everything is whole food plant-based, it's all vegan, and guess what? I'm not gonna tell anybody that's vegan. I don't have to make the vegan announcement, it's just good food. Pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty good. If I don't feed myself before I start making a bunch of food for people, then I'm most likely not gonna eat breakfast and have a bunch of licks of brownie batter or something, which doesn't start the day right. So I always make sure that I have my food before I begin to prep anything or before I go anywhere. Okay, see the hole? You can go right in here. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Right now, it's about an hour before the party is starting, so I'm sitting down and I'm having my lunch because for me to go in full and satisfied with my own food, um, as opposed to going in with hungry head going on, and of course I'm not gonna reach for something healthy, I'm gonna reach for something that I just want, like the junk on the table, right? I made a really fast and quick salad with the components of things that are made for the party, which is why it's really nice to be in charge of the menu because you kind of have control. So I just made a big salad with some hummus. I used one tablespoon of ranch dressing with some lemon juice and I had some leftover vegetable-based soup. My contingency plan always, always is soup in a salad no matter what. My contingency plan for breakfast is smoothies and juices. My contingency plan for lunch and dinners is always gonna be a go-to soup and salad. So that's what I did. My bases are covered. I've got all my food prepped, and now I'm gonna go in with a much clearer head, much more level thinking about what I'm about to jump into, and I'm not gonna let an afternoon totally throw me off for a whole week of being focused and on point with my plan. You can stuff some fruit into your purse if you know you're gonna be somewhere, but you don't know how long. The point is is to have your own back and really the main point is that nobody puts food in your mouth except for you I'm saying that to myself and I'm also saying it to you so know that that is the truth nobody no matter what they say or if they make you feel stupid they're not putting things in your mouth only you have the power to put something in your mouth look at this beauty that turned out so good and you better believe I'm gonna have a small piece of that and I'm gonna enjoy every bite Oh yes, my absolute favorite brownies. Mostly my favorite, not necessarily Eli's. <laughs> That's why I made them. They look delicious. And yeah, I'm gonna have one of these too. I'm gonna have a piece of that. I'm gonna have a piece of that. 
and I'm gonna mindfully eat the rest of my day. I'm hiding in my bathroom because my guest just got here and I wanna share <laughs> these last few points with you guys. So the next thing I wanna share is that cravings and urges are temporary sensations. If you get somewhere and you realize that there's your favorite whatever it is, you take like 10 minutes to really decide if you wanna go down that path or not, Either the craving will subside or you will decide that you're gonna have it, but you're gonna have a game plan set aside. You're gonna say, I'm gonna have one piece, I'm gonna enjoy it fully, and then I'm gonna get up and walk away and do something else. It might even just be an emotional attachment to that food from your past and something that you really don't need. So sit with that feeling for at least five to 10 minutes and see if you really wanna go down that path or not. Nine times out of 10, the craving will pass and you'll be like, you know what, I'm really glad I didn't do that and I'm just gonna go on and enjoy this event and not worry about the food. And then after every event, just reflect on how it went. Like I started to do this and it sounds really silly, but it really made a big difference to me. Did I go in with a game plan? If I did, did I stick to it? If I didn't, where did it go wrong? And where was that like point in the party where I was just like, F it, I don't care. <laughs> Ask yourself what you learned about yourself in that situation. Ask yourself if what you did will, is reflecting your long-term weight loss or health goals. And then just go with the flow. Life is fast, it keeps moving. There's always some party or something. So I think it's really important that we just target what it is that we want. If we want true wellness and if we want weight loss, like then you're gonna have to start taking steps whether you're confined to your own house or whether you're out in the world living. You can't put your life on pause. So do your very best. Those are my top tips and the way that I really just kind of stopped binging uh, at social situations and just kind of allowing those to really get me off track because it's not fun saying you're gonna do something and then just doing the complete other thing behind your back it's never fun it doesn't feel good <laughs> and most of the time you end up with a stomach ache in the morning so to recap go in with a game plan do your best to execute it and give yourself a little bit of grace if you don't get there reflect and do better next time I hope you guys like this video and thanks for sharing Eli's birthday with me I can't believe he's five like Life is moving so quick and I know it's not just me. I know it's all of you guys too. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Honestly, you guys, these tips are just the beginning. If you're interested in working with me or if you're looking for a coach, I'd love to help you out. Right now, I've got five new spots available. If you wanna work with me, I'm gonna give you a $300 discount. So check the information down in the description if this resonates with you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.